Hi guys, uh, welcome to Bayaoko. My name is Joanna Oko. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet this half coat. So I'm not sure if it's called half coat, waist coat or vest coat, but you can leave a comment down below and let me know the proper name for this. So this is super easy to make. It's beginner friendly and we're going to use very basic crochet stitches. You can rock this to a formal event or even on a casual and I would really love to see your recreation. So feel free to tag me on Instagram on my page by Aoko and kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are on the road to 30k subscribers subscribers thank you so for the material i'm using this yarn uh, it's a variegated yarn and it's a hundred grams and it's a medium weight yarn it recommends 4.5 millimeter hook and this is what i'm going to use so you can use any other yarn of your choice preferably medium weight yarn and you will need measuring tape for the measurements you'll also need like a stitch marker to mark your stitches you need scissors so i used like two and a half balls for this so for this pattern we are going to start by working on uh, one part of the front panel i've already made one part of it so i'm going to show you how to go about this we're going to start working on it from the down part going up Start by making a slip knot and always leave a long tail to help you weave in your ends. And now start by chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to make double crochet in the first stitch. So now here the first chain four stitches will count as a double crochet and this one is also a double crochet so basically you have two double crochet stitches so now we're going to start uh, increasing our work and one side is we are going to increase faster than on the other side so start by chaining two and turn so on this side we're going to start increasing faster by faster, I mean uh, adding two stitches over here. So this is the first stitch, the chain two space. Inside this, add one more stitch. So that's an additional stitch. And then add one more. So this means you have added two stitches in this one stitch. So now you have three of them. And at this point, this is going to be our side of the first increase. Take your stitch marker and mark it so that it's not going to confuse you. And then in the last stitch, which is this chain four stitch, you're going to place two double crochets to form an increase as well. But as you can see on this side, it's a slow increase. On this side, we've only increased by one stitch. On this side we've increased by two stitches so to start off the next row on this side chain two and this side will always increase by only one stitch so place one double crochet in the same stitch over here to form an increase and then double crochet in each and every stitch And then in the last stitch, which is this one over here, you're going to place three stitches so that it forms, uh, it creates two additional stitches. So two and three. To start off the next row, you're going to chain two and turn. And where we have the stitch markers, it's we're going to make two increase. So place the second double crochet over there and one last double crochet and then one double crochet in each and every stitch i'm going to meet you at the end of the row at the end of the row in this last stitch place two more double crochet one and two 
So as you can see, this side is going to increase way fast and this side is going slowly. So I'm going to repeat this until I have like around three inches of this. Continue applying the same technique until you have like three inches of this and then I'm going to show you what to do next. So I have increased my work and I have three inches. So now we're going to extend the side and make sure when you're extending your work, please extend it on the side where it's more, you did the first increase, not on this other side. As you can see, this is more slanted and this one is steep. So make sure the chains that you're going to chain is on this side of the first increase part. So this is what I have and we're going to make a few chains over here. So my front panel is in 18 inches and when you divide this into two, so it's nine, it's nine inches. So make sure when you are chaining, you chain according to your size. So I'm just going to add a few more chain stitches so that I can get the nine inches in total. And for me, it's the entire of this part is 34 chain stitches. It could be more for you, it could be less. You can use your tape measure to measure that. After the chain stitches, uh, make your second double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, like that, and then double crochet in each and every stitch. So after completing the chain, you're going to cross over onto this other side and make one double crochet in each and every stitch until you complete this entire row. In the last stitch, do not make an increase and you're done with that row. So now we're going to work in straight line, do not increase. So make sure once you have your size over here, you're just going to chain two and turn and then double crochet in the next stitch and then one double crochet in each and every stitch until you complete this row. Then, uh, in the last stitch, don't forget to make your final double crochet in this chain four stitch. Like that. So for the next number of rows, you're just going to work in straight line like this. And then I'm going to show you what to do next. So I have a total height of seven inches and you're going to count your height from this side, not from here. So now I'm going to start decreasing my work because this area is just under my armpit, like below the armpit. So now we're going to start decreasing our work and after chaining two, you're going to turn your work. And in the next two stitches, you're going to form a reduction. So yarn over, insert your yarn, uh, your hook, sorry, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the three loops together. So now you've lost a stitch over here. Now go ahead and make one double crochet in each and every stitch. And then when we get at the end of the row, we are also going to make a decrease in the last two stitches. In the last two stitches, we are also going to make a reduction. And it's important to note that also this is the part that rests on the cleavage part. If you feel the need to increase the height of this vest, then go ahead and Continue working in straight line before you start decreasing your work. 
to start off the next row of reduction chain two and turn and then in the next two stitches this and the next one form a reduction and then one double crochet in each and every stitch Uh, at the end of the row in the last two stitches you are going to make a decrease and this is the last stitch and then chain two and turn and continue decreasing your work so you are going to apply the same technique and continue decreasing your work until you are left with this part that is going to rest on your shoulder as for me it's three inches could be more could be less for you depending on how you want the size that rest on your shoulder to be so i'm done making the two front panels and so far this is what it looks like and one side is going to be on the wrong side one side to be on the right side so that they can face each other like this So for the back is quite simple and I've went ahead and done a piece of it. So you're just going to make your number of chain according to the back panel size and then you're going to work in straight line exactly the way you did on the front panel as you can see. So and then once you get to this part of the front panel where you started decreasing your work, you're going to do the same on the back part, decrease on both sides. Uh, but for the back, you're going to stop decreasing at some point over here. So this is the front panel and 12 inches, uh, 12 stitches, we're going to tie we are going to join these two sides together and also on this other side the first 12 stitches so now you should be left with the neck size which is around six inches for me around six to seven inches for me so you should leave that for the neckline so after that once you have this size now you are just going to work in straight line so that you can build the height of this vest so when you get here i'm going to show you what to do on the back size on the back side sorry so i'm done with the back and now we are going to join them on the shoulder so attach the two front panels on the back one and then over there over the shoulder part we are going to sew them together using a darning needle so take your darning needle and we're just going to sew the two sides together like that. So secure it properly well. And then when you get at the end part, you're going to tie it like that. And then of course you're going to weave in your ends when you're done. Do this to the other side as well. So the next part is to sew the two sides together and we're going to use the darning needle i find that when you join using a darning needle it gives you a smooth joint so now now uh, you're just going to go on to the other side on top of the yarn and then sew it together make sure that your work is well aligned per row so that it's neat so continue joining until you get to below the armpit area so after joining that's how it looks like on the wrong side and this is the right side so seamless so smooth repeat these to the other side i have joined the two sides together and this is how it looks like now the final step is to fix the buttons and also create the holes if there's need for you to do that but i'm lucky enough my holes are, are big enough to go through the button for the buttons to go through them but if you're using like a bigger button then you need to create the loops while doing the binding so we're just going to bind this using a single crochet all the way around just to make it smooth enough 
So the next step is to bind our work to make it smooth enough and you're going to attach your yarn at one side of your work and we're going to use single crochet to bind this and the single crochet you're going to make them to make them in between the stitches just to make it smooth enough. And then when you get at the slanting point, you're going to put two single crochet per row. So in every row of double crochet, place two single crochet and do this until you get to the peak part. Then when you get here, you're going to chain one and place one more single crochet there and then continue with the same process of binding and you're going to bind this all the way around through the neck. So once you're done making the single crochet all the way, even through the neck, the final step is just fixing the buttons by just sewing them together. And like I said before, I'm lucky I have big holes that will go through the button so I don't have to create the hole. So thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I have also made a male sweater for my man so that we can match. <laughs> So if you're interested in knowing how to make that sweater, I'll do that in my next tutorial and show you how to go about it. And yes, I'll see you in my next video. Have a good time. Bye bye.